Hey team, welcome to another video. I am pumped to start this video series. This is going to be a series of housing tours in Final Fantasy XIV. I wanted to do housing tours for a while now, so like I said, I'm pretty pumped to get this going. And I want to do housing tours for three reasons. Reason number one is if you're interested in housing at all, I'm hoping to inspire you with new ideas. As you see what people have put together using the housing elements offered in the game, it, it will spark new ideas and new ways to use these items. So inspiration, number one and probably the most important. Number two is I want to show off all of the hard work that people have put into their houses in the game. It is hours and days of effort to put together these houses especially if you want to do it in a professional way I mean look if you just want to go in and just throw pieces wherever more, more power to you it doesn't take long and it's real easy to do right it's like playing the sims the couch goes here the furniture goes here the sink goes here but if you were really trying to create a unique environment an immersive environment I think taking the time to show that off to others and really give credit to all that work that's a pretty good reason to put these videos together as well and then number three sometimes people don't want to design and put the effort into the house but they want to have a nice house while other people are willing to design your house based on what you're looking for and do that work for you so what I'm hoping to do is maybe bring some of those people together so if you're someone who wants to design a house for people for Gil and you're someone who wants to pay to have that done maybe we can help link up some of these folks so the first person's housing that we're gonna be going through is Syra Calypso from Marlboro 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 and I think you'll agree that Cyrus housing is a great place to start. So without spending any more time with this intro, let's just get right into the tour, shall we? We're going to start with the apartment and go from there. And what's nice, really, really nice about this apartment that you'll see is it just proves what can be done with this space so whether it's an apartment in an apartment complex in one of the housing areas or it's a room in a free company house anyone can get into this housing so if you don't have the gill or houses don't come up on your server but you're interested in this aspect of the game apartments are always available and if you're part of a free company free company rooms are always available so it's an easy way to get into housing and I know sometimes people look oh it's just an apartment or oh it's just a free company room you can do a lot with these spaces which you're about to see if you don't know how to buy housing in Final Fantasy 14 I will link to that video somewhere over here um, but anyway here is Syrah's apartment and you'll notice right away that it is done very symmetrically and very classy and also in a nice modern style so I love the marble arches I love the angles of the wall partitions here I like how wall partitions are used kind of all the way around to make all of the walls the same it's a very very well done entryway the fireplace is great all looks very very good you look over to the side here there's some pillars with some windows that create a nice element with the lamp and the different pictures and the benches everything is done very symmetrical which helps with uh, the appeal of it but in this room I have to say my favorite part is the floor so you can see the tile flooring and then the rug and then there's like lofts like wood panel lofts that were used here to create the wood entryway part of the floor so by separating out 
the floor styles like this, it really just creates an advanced looking area. I think that's what really puts this room together very, very well. If we go over here into the bedroom area and we start with this little space with Minfilia, I like having the movie player down at the bottom, that little table there. If you're not familiar with what that does, it's where you can go back and re-watch cutscenes from quests that you've already completed. So that's a fun thing to do. And then looking at the bed, this also very well put together. That is at least one, two, three, four, five, six, I think that's at least eight elements that make up that bed. So that is, I mean, even though it looks like it, that is not a bed you can just buy. That is something that Syra has crafted with ingenuity. So very, very well done. Over here, you've got a shelving unit with some different bits and bobs on it. I love the manor candelabras on the left there and the use of that. But by far, my favorite part of this room this apartment is this. So what Syra has done is taken a picture frame with a picture in it and put the other element in front of it with the curtains on the side and the, and the dresser underneath and it literally looks like you're looking out a window. Just a really really cool immersive touch to this space and like I said by far my favorite favorite part of the apartment is this window. I uh, I just really really like how that's done I'm sure you'd agree last thing I want to say while we're here in the apartment is if you see one of these they won't always be glowing like that but if you see one of those in someone's house that's a message book please take a moment and leave them a message people work really hard, especially if you like the place people work really hard on their housing so if you're visiting different houses Take a moment, leave them a message, say hi. It's a great way to help build community in the game. And one of my favorite things to do is just tell them what my favorite thing about the house or the apartment was. So, hey, great job with the house. My favorite part was whatever, right? Uh, in Cyrus here, it's glowing because I left a message. And in here I wrote, hey, Syra, great apartment. You will soon be YouTube famous. I don't know how YouTube famous she's going to be, but this will eventually get posted and I guess she'll be YouTube famous. Anyway, that is Syra's apartment. Next, we're going to visit the medium house and I'll be back with you in just a moment to go through that. So here we are at Syra's medium house and you can see it behind me there. I wanted to start this far away to really showcase the Kugani castle wall setup of the house it's one of the pricier setups you can craft it using I believe free company crafting rooms and a lot of time and materials but these go for millions on the market board and you can see why obviously for a medium it looks like a mansion the mansions look insane because it's so tall, it just looks ridiculously insane. So very, very cool to see the castle walls there. As we head into the property, I like that Cyrus used these hedges to create more height to the walls. It's very cool. There's a nice little hot tub area here that you can see. And Again, everything is really symmetrical. So there's the, you can see as we look at the front of the house, our eyes like symmetry. So as you're putting things together, think about how you can make it nice and symmetric like Syra does here. I like the little ponds. Those are actually half of the bigger ponds with the little overhangs that match the purple color of the rest of it is just really really well done with the little bridge and the fountain over the corner just a very very tasteful job just like you find with everything that is in Cyrus houses so let's go ahead and head in I like giving housing tours it's fun 
All right. So you walk right in, you've got the message book, right? Hey, leave a message when you see those. There's also a dodo version that could be outside the house. So if you don't see one inside, maybe there's one outside. And if you have a house and you don't have a message book, you should get one. This water feature, very, very cool. Again, highly symmetrical. You've got the paintings on either side, the pillars. This may look like a pre-put together thing, but just like anything else that's worth it in housing in Final Fantasy XIV, the plants along the bottom are three different pieces. On the top, there's two plants there. The uh, water coming down, I believe, is a shower. If I'm not mistaken, that's the way the shower does goes. There's a hot tub there in the bottom. And then the little window type element in the middle just creates a really, really cool and unique water feature right as you come into the house. If we go over to the right, there's a pretty cool fireplace room. With like uh, the Final Fantasy version of pool, I guess. Nice little setup over here. Cool hangout area. With the nice manor furniture. So nice, nicely done. It's incredible. Even putting that painting on that fireplace in that way and that candlestick on there that all requires special glitching techniques just to get something like that done if we head upstairs got a cool little walkway here grandfather clock and if we head in here we've got a bedroom with a nice big canopy bed some shelving and a wardrobe I like the little teddy bear there painting nice big open space you got the uh, normally it'd be a cat tree right but I guess that's a fox tree which is very creative use of that and then probably one of my favorite things about Cyrus medium house is the TV I love how they have glitched that element from whatever raid series that is I can't remember I'll put the text in there um, but made a retro TV. When I did my house, I, I made it kind of like the LCD style TV, and I just I think the retro style is also very, very cool. So well done. We head over here, got a bathroom. Oddly enough, there aren't any housing item toilets, so you have to kind of build them yourself. Got a nice bathtub. Another thing I really, really like is how Syrah used some open partitions and put the Moogle shelves in there. And it really just, it's one of those things that when done right, it looks like it's meant to be that way. When really, again, it's multiple, multiple pieces kind of put together. Nice little sink, Moogle themed bathroom. That's a Moogle orchestrian. So very, very well done. I also really like the Moogle wall clock. That is really cool. So, oh, and uh, this is very neat as well. Laundry. So that was a nice touch. If we head downstairs. Reason we're going downstairs last is very, very impressive. So if you look here, this is a sushi hibachi style restaurant which is very very creatively done i love it so as we head down here you've got the hostess here who will seat you one of these nice little hibachi grill areas you've got the stage here in the middle little music space for a band to play and uh, the wine barrels in the back or beer barrels some really cool fish aquariums loaded up above just really well done if you head up to the bar here got the bartender and the meat cooking in the back and then you've got the little namazu like sous chef preparing things the sushi here it's just really really well done little sake set um, so very very creative and 
amazing job making this restaurant in the basement of the medium house. So that's Syrah's medium house. Saved very, very cool one for last. We're going to get to the free company mansion in just a minute. All right, and we are back. And you can see Cyrus Free Company Mansion there behind me. Not quite sure what that housing style is called, but it looks pretty darn cool, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and take a look at the design. Got the hedgerows. And when you first enter the yard, you'll notice one of my favorite new outdoor housing items introduced in the 5.0 series are these mar uh, market stalls that you can have for your yard. I really like the lighting that's on the inside of it. Looks really cool and it really helps brighten it up at nighttime which is obviously what it is right now. Uh, you've got a garden that's got some crystals that are ready to be picked, harvested. Nice chocobo stable with some tough looking chocobos. One of my favorite outdoor elements is this. If you've seen Kill Bill, the movie before, that was the first time I'd seen one of these garden water features and I <laughs> scoured the internet for a while trying to find one that I could put in my own yard personally, but just couldn't find one that didn't seem real cheap. So maybe Maybe someday, but until then we've got our, the virtual one that's available in, in the game. I really like how the Aetherite has been placed in there with kind of that extra little lighting embellishment. really makes this stand out quite a bit. Adds a lot to it. You've got the uh, new deck that was just added very recently. Very cool setup with the overhangs on each side kind of creating that symmetrical look more marketing marketing these are marketing stalls they teach you how to improve your brand image more market stalls kind of like a little farmers market or a, a flea market you've got everything from swords and axes to loaves of bread and fruit here in the the stalls done quite well I like this a lot. Books, all kinds of things. Really, really cool setup. Really like the yard, little seating area. But let's get to it. Let's get to the inside here. When you first walk in, one of my favorite things about Cyrus Mansion is the part at the top of the steps kind of the shrine if you will a lot of folks put a ton of stuff in there and I like how this one's nice and simple nice open room with lots of space over here to the left if you've got a free company house at all this is obviously you might already know this but this is where you would go to your personal rooms it's a great way to get extra housing space if you uh, don't have a ton of gill or you can't find a house on your server you can get a room at your free company house for 300,000 gill and then the apartments are 500,000 gill so a pretty uh, relatively low cost way to get into housing starting over here to the left got a pretty cool study going on here with a fireplace some um, Riviera chairs that look real nice. Real nice setup. Nice big table. We got a desk with uh, the message book there. Orchestrian. The Eorzean map table. Just a nice little hangout spot. Could have free company meetings there, stuff like that. I really like this room on the other side a lot. We've got another fireplace. Because, you know, there's no electricity in this house. We've got to have our fireplaces strategically throughout the house to keep everyone warm. But I really like how the aquariums are kind of set into the wall there with the fish swimming through. And it just, it looks great. Very well put together, just like everything else. If it were daytime, these windows on the side would be lit up. 
and then there's dueling hot tubs on each side of the room here which are very cool that uh that barber looking bell if you haven't seen that before that's the esthetician bell where you can summer summon the esthetician in your house to change your hairstyle and stuff like that so really really cool hangout living room area if we head upstairs this is the kitchen and i like how when you first walk in there's these cabinets again that very modern design with the marble archways that we saw in the apartment and you've got these cabinets here that are put together for dishes and things of that nature but check this out team it's a really nice and well put together kitchen just kind of a note about housing if you look at where the stove is in the middle flanking those the cupboards are Hingen sideboards and then the tile part on top that's making up the counter is a different piece and then the stove is a different piece so just another really cool example of how putting all this stuff together you can really create a unique and very very cool setup that is individual to you so hopefully going through these houses you're getting some ideas for your own got uh, the spigot there cooking some whatever animal that is I also like this concept a lot. I've done this too. The sink is actually a food platter where all the food has been eaten, 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 and just the platter is left to look like a sink, which is very cool. All right, heading over to the other side. Got the curtains. And then a nice setup of a buffet here buffet style dining and then check out these booths these are really cool so each booth is meticulously meticulously set up you got one two three four booths each one's got a couple of pillars a table a couple of benches a rug there's like 10 or so components that make up each of those so really really nice area for seating all right we're off to my favorite part of the house the basement check this out it's like a nightclub it's very cool if you head down here there's a triple triad table with uh, someone I guess you can play triple triad with nice little stage here some of the gold saucer style games, which are nice. This is where you punch Gilgamesh. And then as you head over here, really nice bar setup with, I like how the aquariums are made part of the counter and then in the background, even the bartender's glamor fits kind of the environment. Then you've got a couple of dueling stages here that I will uh, test out for you. They seem to work quite well for dancing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if the Moogle dance is a real good fit for my samurai outfit there, but uh, we know the stages work. But another really interesting part is you've got these curtains here, and then behind the curtain, there's kind of like a backstage area where if you were putting on a show you'd hang out back here and then blow now you're out here and ready to go so I thought that was a nice touch as well and last but certainly not least I'll give you a moment to look at this and figure out what it is it is a fortune tellers station which is amazing I love the crystal ball and the fact that it's raised up off the floor, I just thought that was such a creative idea and, and one of my favorite things about the mansion here. Fortune Telling Station. So you've got a full nightclub set up down here in the basement. Just another excellently put together room. Just love it. Really, really cool. So hopefully team, you enjoyed the housing video and you got some inspiration from it. I'm hoping to do more of these, so if you're interested, 
and having me do a tour of your house, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video, and thanks so much.